So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening guys. I do hope that you are all doing great. My name is Harold and I am an OFW based here in Dublin, Ireland. So for the past few days, uh, medyo busy sa work, uh, up and down. So ngayon guys, medyo maganda yung weather dito sa Ireland, sa Dublin to be specific. And of course, wala namang tayong gagawin. I think it's not a good idea na we're just being a couch potato, yung ba nakahiga, mood ng TV. So I want to do something about my off and I think the weather is really perfectly fine. So ngayon guys, is dadalip ko kayo sa isang lugar na hopefully ay mag enjoy kayo. So yeah! Let's go! So our sneakers for today will be this badass kasi nga maglalakad tayo so we need something na comfortable. Yan nga pala yung setup ko. Finally got my own you know, workspace for my uh, editing and um, live streaming. Yung pupuntahan naman natin is only like 30 minutes outside the main city of Dublin and accessible siya by tra uh, train. At saka mas maganda is yung lugar na mismo is my own train stop so hindi tayo mahihirapan. Nandito na ako sa city center guys. Uh, since hindi pa ako nag-breakfast, bibili tayo ng coffee as usual and then pastry. But before that one, my pupuntahan muna tayo dito. Ang ganda ng church na yun, no? isa yun sa mga ano, attractions dito sa Dublin. Upo muna tayo guys. I think uh, mali yung damit na nasuot ko for today. Kasi ano na siya eh, medyo palamig na ng palamig. Though yun nga, may araw. Pero iba na yung, yung ano level ng lamig ngayon kumpara nung mga nakarang araw. So, whew, bottom is real. Sorry. Uh, we're here now with the train station and we're just waiting for the train. Um, it's approximately 10 minutes, so we'll just enjoy our pastry for the meantime. Medyo dumating na yung, ano, yung season na parang nakakatamad lang kasi diba pag, ano, pag malamig kasi dito, talagang malamig eh. Like, hindi ka ganun ka to madaling lumabas pero hindi ka ganun ka ano ka enthusiastic kasi ano dami mong susuotin especially pag winter minsan dalawa or tatlo ayun nga o oh, atong palang suot ko lang is t-shirt sya kaya ito ano itong hoodie ko pero malamig pa nga eh so sana tinala ko yung para ano ko nung tawag nun bomber jacket pero tanga tayo besh so nakalimutan ko Anyway, yeah, it's not too bad. Kaya pa naman. We're in the train now, guys. And yeah, kailangan pa din mag-mask. Kasi nga, ano, just to cover yourself. And ito yung policy na dito. Eh. Every time, nasa ano ka, sa mga public transport, you need to wear the mask. So, it's good. Yeah, uh, we are now here in Kilaini, guys. Um, it's one of the seaside um, towns, just, I don't know, towns or should I say sea seaside areas just outside a couple of minutes away from Dublin. Um, ano siya, this place is known for like a very expensive part when it comes to real estate. So, kaya, ang gaganda ng mga bahay dito kasi ano dito yung mga, mga, mga social, yung mga ganon. Yung parang, yung isang bahay is ano siya, around mga Euros, yung mga ganon. So, hindi natin kanyang tumira dito. <laughs> it's like a good place na ano lang, if you want to just um, escape the, you know, bustling life ng Dublin City. So, it's good for a short or a weekend getaway. Kasi yun nga, malapit lang siya. But, uh, when it comes to sa, ano, when it comes sa, sa dagat, lahat tayo nagkakasundo dyan. Kasi alam naman natin kung gaano ka-relaxing yung ano, yung, yung kahit umupo ka lang or kahit ano, yung sa, yung sa Pilipinas, yung pag gusto mo ng summer getaway, yung, yung unang isipin mo is talagang beach, parang gano'n. And 
the place is you know is pet friendly because if you are a dog owner uh, you can bring your dogs here just for a walk as well as stroll and alam nyo ba guys um, dito sa Ireland ano you have to be a responsible owner if may aso ka dito there's yung mga pet owners dito when they go for a walk with their dogs they have to bring this little bag uh, black bag or bin tapos pag tumai yung mga aso nila they have to pick up you have to pick that po and then put it in the bin kasi pag ano pag nahuli sila na hindi nilinis yung ano yung dumi ng aso nila they will be penalized aside sa ano sa beach or sa seaside may isang ano pa isang bagay na pwede mong gawin dito sa ano sa Kilaini uh, at yun yung gagawin natin after this one pupunta tayo sa tinatawag nilang Kilaini Hill if you wanna see it hindi kasi siya makita doon yung hill na yun so, pupunta tayo doon ngayon ano lang siya I don't know if how pupunta na kami doon last time eh tsaka maganda siya kasi pag nasa top ka para ano ka may bird's eye view ka of the place at makikita mo makikita mo din yung ano yung dumpling so I've been there before pero I think I wasn't able to share it to you guys so gagawin ko ulit and then yeah let's go medyo mahabang nakaranto guys so it's also like a good form of exercise kasi ano siya parang steep siya eh. so di ba nga hill <laughs> so steep siya so marami ting mga ay ako rin hihingal ako <sighs> tayo nga tayo kaya marami ting mga nagbabike dito kasi nga ano siya idea siya for biking kasi ano siya bakyat di ba I'm aging guys hindi na kaya Ah, pagod. Anyway, pinasok ko to. Guys, yung ilong ni Alan Kay, malapit na sumabog. <laughs> Ewan ko, nawala na ako. So, anyway, we're quite close. Napaka, napaka masukal. Whew. No, you should be there in a few minutes. Guys, uh, nandito na tayo finally. And to be honest with you, nakakabagod. Pero, ang catch is, it's worth it. Kasi ang ganda ng view. Okay? I'll show it to you now in three, Two, one, let's go. Dropping the kids off to school. Life has just been passing by. I've been doing the best I can. But it's a pretty neat sunrise. A little bright, a shade of blue. Wow, the view is just amazing. I mean, ang ganda. Kita nyo yung mga shots, di ba? Nakaka-ano, nakaka-aliw lang. Kasi, di ba, sa haba-haba ng nilakad natin, tsaka sa, ano, kahit medyo steep yung, ano, yung hill, yung pagpakiat, pero yung view naman is sulit. So, yun nga, di ba? Ito yung palagi sinasabi ko na, ano, na sometimes you have to go to hardships para ma-enjoy natin yung success char. Di ba? So, parang ganun. So, yeah! Um, it's a mission success, I think. Kasi ito naman yung talagang goal natin na uh, makapag-relax somehow and then yeah, just escape the, the busy life in Dublin for even just for a day. So yun guys, I think I'm gonna finish my vlog here and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed our little travel tour for today. So thank you so much guys, this is Harold signing off.